Well, hello, nail babes, and welcome back to the Nail Struggles channel where I try the nail thing so you don't have to. Well, today I am going to show you nail art supplies and things that you can buy at the dollar store, Walmart, Michaels, Joann's, just some of the nearby places and that, and hopefully that you can get them at a fairly reasonable price. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. Come, come on back. You know you want the information? You know you want to find out what we're doing over here in this lovely family of ours. And if you can, when you can, I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video to tell me where some of your favorite places that you like to get nail art and supplies for relatively cheap. Cause let's just be honest. We can spend all the money on the product, but God knows it's the nail art that almost kills you because there's you never can have enough. You can fill up an entire room with nail supplies and still not have everything that there is concerning nails. All right, so let's jump right into it, shall we? <laughs> all right, the first thing that I'm gonna deal with is Michaels. If you have not been to Michaels, I'm gonna let you know that you can buy micro beads, okay? This is by the Recollections Collection. These are the basic micro bead sets. So I'm gonna turn it over so that you can see that they have micro beads in multiple colors in these jars. So you can see all the beautiful glory goodness. We're not gonna go through all the colors, but hey, look at that. Look at that micro bead goodness. Look at it, look at it, look at it, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, you can buy micro beads at Walmart. I mean, not Walmart, huh? You can buy these at Michaels. The next set thing that I actually found there too was micro beads in the common colors that you use for nail art. So if you're looking for your silver, your bronze, your gold, your uh, translucent, your regular yellow gold and black, you can see here, you can get micro beads and these run for about $7.50, uh, $7.49 I believe when I went and checked today. Day, um, at Michael's so I like these I'm gonna tell you one of the tricks to using these is take a sheet of a dryer sheet and rub it on the outside that will help with uh, some of the static electricity because if you go and you're trying to pour it in a small jar these little beads will go everywhere so I the trick that I use to get these out of here without them completely going everywhere is I wipe it down with a dryer sheet then go ahead and pour it in my container so that's number two all right, now, hopefully this isn't gonna cause any type of controversy, but I'm gonna show it anyway. But you can get Swazarski crystals um, at Michaels. I know at my, at my Michaels right now, they've been running a sale. Um, every other week I've either able, been able to find them at 50% off per pack or finding them for buy one, get one 50% off. So I, you can also find these at Joann's and I also have collected some, uh, Swazarski crystals from Joann's when they've had a 60% off coupon and I'm in the area. I go in and I drop in and I just buy a pack of crystals. So you'll see that this is the, um, ADP Zerus, these are the flatbacks. This is just the red, white, and blue, and they do come in multiple, multiple uh, sizes, which I think would, mm, I probably would say these are mm, SS12s, SS10s, and maybe some SS8s that are in here. I also have, oops, also have the uh, clear ones. These look like these are about a size SS8, possibly. This is a 38 piece. I probably paid uh, probably about three bucks a pack for these. I also have some blue ones. Look at those. Aren't those gorgeous? Who doesn't love crystals? Oh my God. Look at all this crystal shiny goodness, okay? So you've already seen my nail storage organization haul. So now that you're seeing my Swazarski crystals, I am gonna depot these and put them into um, their con the, the uh, container. So uh, in order to give you an idea of what it is I'm gonna try to do, just in case you haven't seen my nail organization storage, which I'm gonna try to link it up in the cards for you. I, this is glitter, but it's the same pot, but I usually put my crystals in pots like this and I put them all by different sizes so that I can go ahead and just unscrew them as I need them and be able to use them on myself. I don't do well with the big clear boxes. I just don't. Okay, so here's something else. These were a little bigger. I think these are like the SST, and we had to compare them. They're the SS10 size. And then we have some more blue Swazarski crystal goodness. And you can see that they are different from the previous ones because there are um, some lighter blues and some larger size crystals in here, which might be even closer to an SS size, well, SS16s probably. And then last but not least, we also have them in pink. So 
why? Because of Swizarski Crystal, I guess, deciding to move away from providing these type of loose crystals to distributors. Uh, what, I'm gonna buy what I can from Michaels and from Joann's, and then I probably will be switching to Preciosa, Preciosa crystals. You can find them on Blue Street crystals, and if you don't have a code, go, I don't have one yet. Ooh, putting it in the atmosphere, yes we are. Go and check out Tabitha Scott Nails. Like, she has one, and I think it's like for 5% off. But nevertheless, go over there, get yourself a code, get yourself some crystals, just in case you don't wanna go to Joann's and Michaels. So on with the show, the next place that I'm going to talk about is doo -doo -doo -doo, Joann's. If you have not been in Joann's, you need to go in there and check them out. But these are some pink foil flakes. Uh, hopefully you saw my previous haul where I showed you inexpensive nail art that you can purchase on Amazon. Well, in there, we had rose gold, we had silver, and we had the regular metallic yellow gold. What I didn't have was the pink flakes. I actually found these at Joann's and they were, they are so beautiful. Oh my God, I put these, I actually put these on my mom's nails. So um, you can find, you just have to have a creative mind and be able to be on the lookout for nail stuff. But these are the ME, looks like Heidi Swap Foil Flakes. I did see that they came in silver and gold as well, but I only needed this uh, pink color being that I have over 100 sheets of the gold, the silver, and the rose gold color. So if you didn't know, go get yourself some foil flakes in different colors. I think these range, these uh, sell for about five or six dollars um, a container. Okay. Next, you all are gonna love this. I'm gonna do a separate video on this, so don't you worry. Just hang in there. I'm gonna show you how to use these, but they have these alcohol inks at Joann's. Now, these colors, this one is neat. This is the color that has the neon. This is the neon pack, and it has neon yellow. Let's see, neon orange and neon pink in this one. And I actually buy containers like this from my local nail supply or from off of Amazon. And I actually make my own alcohol inks with these. These are extremely concentrated. So I'm gonna do a whole nother video to show you how I use these and to show you a set of nails that I had a nail uh, on uh, done with these alcohol inks. So these are the neon alcohol inks. Okay, and the next one is still the alcohol inks, but these are in what I call the primary colors. You have your cadmium yellow, aquamarine blue, and your cadmium, cadmium red. Now, I bought these because if you don't know, you can use the primary colors to almost make a myriad of other colors. And so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put this to the side, but I'm gonna show you one of the alcohol inks, The well, two of the alcohol inks I made actually out of the primary colors here. What I ended up doing, I'm gonna show you how to use them, but I'm gonna show you two colors that I made. One is in pink and the other one is purple, but to give you an idea what they look like, I'm gonna just swatch them here for you just to show you that you can make beautiful alcohol inks. Look at this, look at this pink, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my goodness. And then the one that I ended up using on my previous sudden nails, don't don't look at my nails right now. They are trash. I've been, uh, I was working on a car, so they, they're trashed right now. You see this beautiful, royal, deep purple that I made? I literally made this combining blue and red. So seeing these particular colors leads me to the next thing that you definitely need to have in your arsenal if you are going to do nails and want to be able to stretch your nail supply in as many different possible directions. And that is this, ladies and gentlemen. You need a color wheel. This has been a savior for me in terms of when I want to mix colors, the primary color that it is that you may be trying to make is outside here. And then if you're trying to change the tone or shade, and you can read up more on this to toning and shading and everything, because color theory gets, it gets deep, ladies and gentlemen, it gets deep. And these, all you have to do is turn the wheel so that in it, it will tell you, so say you are trying to make like this smoky blue color. Well, it tells you here orange, then you probably need to add blue in order to get this specific color. Or if you're trying to get this, you know, particular green color that's here, you have yellow and it basically says, add black to it in order to get this color. So this def this will definitely is very helpful in helping you to determine what colors you need to mix together to get what. The back of it does the same very thing and it teaches you about complementary colors. Uh, it teaches you about corresponding colors. And then it also shows you basically if you're trying to get a specific shade, tint or tone of a color, which is basically the varying 
levels of a specific color it basically tells you like what you need to add in order to get that color so this is an invaluable tool for you if you're going to be a nail artist i use this even for a nail enthusiast i use this for acrylics i use this for gels i use this for gel paints polishes it does not matter i love this thing so get you one of these okay you won't you won't be sad get you one get yourself one of those okay bless yourself today yes bless yourself all right the next thing that we're going to talk about is some uh acrylic paints now i bought these acrylic paints because i am interested in learning to do one stroke flowers so if you don't know what one stroke flowers are i think her name is dorica patrick that's here on youtube she is an amazing nail artist that does lots of one stroke flowers well I wanted to be able to buy the paints in order for me to do that uh, for me when I was trying gel paints didn't work that great for me uh, this one isn't open I have a few of them that are open but I went and purchased like all of the primary colors of the acrylic paints and you can see them here and then I also went and bought some uh, individual corresponding in individual colors of stuff that I just honestly I just didn't feel like mixing I, I didn't I was just like I just want to buy the paint and call it a day but I bought all of these paints and you can find these at Joann's um, they're actually a little more expensive at Joann's they're like a dollar fifty a piece or so but I'm gonna tell you this here's a trick you can find these at Walmart too these are like 50 cents so the colors I have here are Admiral Blue Velvet Crush Red Apple Black Light Mocha Kelly Green Antique White Yellow Royal Violet and Pale Daffodil I also have uh, the white one but I have been using that uh, for another project so it's not it's the only reason it's not sitting over here but you can grab yourself those colors if you really want to learn one stroke flowers or just to do nail art in general but go ahead buy yourself treat yourself 50 cents okay at walmart i know this is a joanne section but walmart too treat yourself 50 cents you you know you won't be busting the bank if you're trying to buy yourself some nail art right there okay yeah just won't something else that you definitely need um that i the next place that i'm going to is the dollar store the dollar store is a treasure trove let me tell you a treasure trove of things i'm going to do a separate video on things that i found at the dollar store but i want to share some things with you a wire brush set a wire brush set what, what, what wire brush set why a wire brush set so i'm gonna show you why if you get deep into it enough and you get yourself a nail drill you are probably going to buy nail drill bits and i'm telling you right now these things can get clogged up with gel and acrylic but i love that i can go ahead pull out one of these this is a dollar this three-piece set is usually found in the hardware section of the dollar store dollar pull these suckers out and then you can literally use them to wipe through and unclog your pieces. And then once I do this, I wash them with hot soapy water and then I disinfect them in a uh, Barbicide or Leucocide, whichever one that I have on hand at the time. I actually like Leucocide better than Barbicide because it doesn't rust my uh, drill bits. But uh, I'm telling you, anything disinfectant has been hard to find. And hey, try to find like sauce spray. <laughs> If you find it, let me know. Heck, mail me a jar because I have not found anything since this, since this, you know, viral pandemic has absolutely started. So get yourself one, get yourself a set of these, a wire brush set. They're at the dollar store, one dollar. Okay, don't buy those expensive ones anywhere else. These do absolutely wonderful and just fine. Second at the dollar store are these Crafter Square. Mine are open because I've been using them, but it's a six-piece art palette set. Now, let me tell you why I love these, because if you are going to practice nail art, if you're going to practice, as I said, like one stroke flowers, you want to have something to put your little paints and stuff in so that when you're dipping into them, you can do what you need to do. These things are wonderful. I wash mine out. I'm cheap. I'm not throwing nothing away. I don't care if it is six of them in here. And if, even if paint excuse me dries in them what i end up usually doing is taking some isopropyl alcohol <laughs> good luck on finding this too <laughs> but isopropyl alcohol and i literally just wipe my containers out even if the paint has dried in here and as you see i've been using these and they still look brand new so 
you want to get these these are at the dollar store you do not have to spend a lot of money on this stuff for nail art and you're a nail art enthusiast or even a professional these are some things that you can buy that are going to be little or no money the second the next thing that i get from the dollar store are these eyeshadow applicators now i love these eyeshadow applicators because i like to chrome things on the nails and once you get into chroming and all the rest of that other stuff you'll begin to realize that you need lots of supplies for lots of different things. So these eyeshadow applicators, there is a 20 count pack for a dollar. If you're, you know, I actually do find them cheaper on places like Ally Express, but I don't feel like waiting three months for my eyeshadow applicators to get here. So these are a dollar. Pick these up at the dollar store. Something else is at the dollar store, poster tack. And I know you're like, poster tack, what, 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 what does that got to do with nail stuff? Well, let me help you. I have this particular nail art practice hand, okay? I actually have two different uh, practice hands, but this is the one that's attached to my desk. This is the common nail practice hand that you see everyone having. And as you see here, this is what I use instead of, if I run out of these clip on nail tips for my practice hand and I'm down to like the last set or so and I haven't ordered any or I don't wanna order any, then what I usually end up doing is taking the poster tack and attaching it to uh, my nail here and adding these full cover tips so that I can continue on practicing on this hand. Like sometimes I prefer practicing on this hand over my uh, flexing hand. So this is another way for you to practice or even to make uh, press on nails. Like I actually use this um, at times to make press on nails. This is, the poster tack is absolutely perfect for it. And it's perfect for it too, because if you buy, you know, on Amazon or any place else, these uh, nail tip stands, you usually need you, let me see if I can pull this off. You usually need some type of poster tack on the inside of the nail in order to get it to stick to the nail stand. So don't go spending a whole lot of money. Buy yourself some poster tack. It's at the dollar store. And I tend to buy two to three packs of this at a time because I think other people have gotten onto it and with everyone being at home and the children needing to do art and stuff, people are using poster tack like crazy. But you get a decent amount of poster tack in here and you only need to tear off small pieces and you get this this huge amount of poster tack for one dollar so that is at the dollar store all right let's move on i have these recosable bags this is a hundred count okay i was able to find these at the dollar store now i use these because i am in the process of trying to figure out storage in that for some of my nail art supplies so if you haven't seen my nail art store supply i'll make sure to link it down in the box but i have these containers that have glitter and some other things in uh for travel or just literally this is just convenient for me you can get these at uh, Joann's, Walmart, sorry for the glare off the ring light. You can find these at Joann's, Walmart, and Michael's, and they range for about $10, okay? But then I am going to give away some glitters, and when I am sharing, I do uh, some nail swaps in that with friends, and when I do that, I like to package the stuff in here, and then I have a binder that I'm putting nail art in, and so start, instead of having like a thousand of those little containers, um, like this everywhere sometimes it is just hard to keep up with these i'm actually going to put these all in small bags like this and put them inside of my binder and i'm going to label them so that everything will be organized because i don't like this kind of stuff is you know you can lose this kind of stuff and i want to be very organized and know exactly what it is i have so this is one of the reasons why i bought these uh reclosable bags in that from the dollar store. They absolutely work, work wonders. Something that I forgot, and so please forgive me, but I'm going to tell you because I want to share with you what you need to buy and what you need to get so that you are not just spending a whole lot of money um, out here. Nail art, nail art brushes, okay? For me, I actually use these. These are my gel brushes, and I buy these from Michaels. They are the Simply Simmons line. If you have never heard by uh, nail by nails by Talia, 
uh, here on YouTube. She is an absolutely amazing uh, gel artist that works specifically, works primarily in her gel, who has a mate who is like the stamping, one of the stamping queens in my opinion. But she turned me on to these Simply Simmons brushes and I have them in multiple sizes from two to six. And then uh, the Artist Loft brushes that are in a size six. I use these for gel. I also use these for when I'm trying to get polish tight around the cuticle. And I've also used these um, because I have a couple of brushes that I keep the caps and stuff on. I actually use the number two Simply Simmons brush to do cleanup with acetone or alcohol of the nail polish. This is usually what I have on hand, I'm not picky. Um, I use these to do gel application as well as cleanup from my nail polish and that around my hands. And so I use little containers like this. You can find these at Sally's and that for about a buck. Put them in there and that's how I clean up around my nails. So hopefully you all have uh, figured out or learned some different things that you can buy at the dollar store, Walmart, uh, Michaels, and Joann's that will help you on your nail journey. And until then, go ahead and make sure you don't remember to hit like and subscribe. Tell me, remember, what are some of your favorite places that you like to get nail art supplies? And you know what I'm about to say, ladies and gentlemen, life is too short to have boring nails and we're out. <laughs>